Hello Widget Watchers, welcome back to another video. Today we are going to explore one of Flutter's most powerful feature, creating custom widgets. Whether you are looking to build a reusable button, a custom list item or any other UI component, custom widgets are your best friend. So grab your laptops and let's dive in. As you know, in Flutter everything is a widget. By creating custom widgets, you can encapsulate and reuse UI component across your app making your code more organized. Custom widget also allow for easy customization and theming, providing a consistent look and feel. Let's get started by setting up a new Flutter project. If you haven't already, open your favorite IDE and create a new project. Once the project is created, open it in your favorite IDE. Now let's implement a custom widget. So, we will create a simple custom button widget as an example. This button will have customizable text, color, and on press action. So, first go to the lib directory in your project, create a new folder named widget, and inside widgets folder create a new file named custom button dot dot. Now open the custom button dot dot file. Here we are going to define our custom widgets. So in this file we will create a custom button class that extends stateless widget and this button will accept properties for text, color and on press callback. So here create a stateless widget as custom button and inside this class add these three parameter string as text, color for color and void callback for on pressed. And then add all these field inside its constructor and please make sure to mark all them as required. Now come inside the build method and from here return the elevated button and for on pressed pass the on press to it and for style we are using elevated button dot style from to customize the button style. So here we want to add our custom color to this button. So here add the primary parameter and pass the color to it. Now for child add the text widget and pass the text to it. Now that we have created our custom button widget let's use it in main screen of our app. Now open the main.dart file. So in main.dart file, we will use our custom button widget and see it in action. So for that, remove everything from the material app and now here add the home property and here add the scaffold widget to it and for body add the center widget to it and inside child call the custom button and for example for text add the click me string to it and for color let's give a purple color to it and for on pressed um, let's add an print statement which will say button pressed so in main.dart file we are using the custom button widget inside a scaffold widget we have set the button's text to click me its color to purple and defined a simple on press callback that prints a message to the console now let's see all this thing in action. So run this application. Now the application is installed in my simulator. So you can see our purple button has been appeared on the screen. Now press on this button and you can see in the console button pressed string is appeared. So our first part is done for this video. Now one of the great thing about custom widget is their reusability and flexibility. Now. Let's also make our custom button even more customizable by adding more properties such as text style and padding to it. So let's head back to the custom button dot dot file. So now here we are going to add text style and padding properties to this button. Now also make these two property as nullable because we don't want to force our user to add these property. Now add these two things to the constructor and don't mark them as required because these two fields are nullable. Now come to the elevated button style section and here add the padding to it and then add the text style to it. Now let's go to the main.dart file and here define the padding to this button and then add the text style for this button. Now save the code. You can see our button has been appeared on the screen as we wanted. Now you can use this button at many places according to your use cases. So this was it. How you can create a custom widget in Flutter. Custom widget are a powerful tool to creating reusable and consistent UI component. You can add as many properties as you need to make your widget flexible and adaptable. So if you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Widget Wisdom and hit the bell icon for more Flutter content. 
and if you have any questions or idea for future video leave them in the comments below thanks for watching and see you next time on widget wisdom